without a doubt, the biggest mistake you can make as a web designer is being a generalist and just offering web design to whoever is willing to hire you. If you don't select the proper niche, it's going to be nearly impossible to compete because you're going to be competing against every web designer in the entire world. And you're going to be competing for clients that are looking for the cheapest work and they're not going to be very quality clients. So in this video, what I'm going to do is share with you a couple of the best niches that you can choose to get laser focused and dominate as a web designer. So let's dive into it. Growing up in Idaho, there's one thing that we would do every summer without fail, and that is go fishing on the lake. And I loved fishing. It was a great way to spend time with my dad and my brother and my uncles. We would bring some good snacks and on a good day, we would catch a lot of big fish. But there was nothing more discouraging than rolling up to the lake and seeing thousands of other fishermen surrounding the lake and out on their big fishing boats. And we just knew that we were in for a day of competing with all these other fishermen. And we knew we probably weren't going to catch as much as we would like. And this is exactly the same with freelance web design. If you're just fishing the great big lake and you're competing against every other web designer, it's going to be really, really difficult, especially because some of those other web designers work for massive agencies that have massive marketing budgets, and it's going to be nearly impossible to compete. So instead of putting you in this situation, I want to show you how you can put yourself in a way better position a position where you are the fisherman that is fishing in your own little pond, your own little spot that not only is guaranteed to help you catch fish, but they're going to be big fish. Or in other terms, they're going to be big clients that are willing to pay a lot for your services and that are going to be a joy to work with. And this is what niching down can do for you. Now, there are a ton of different benefits to choosing a niche as a web designer. And some of these might be obvious, but some of them you might not have considered before. Some of the benefits are you have a more targeted market, meaning you know exactly who your prospects are or who your clients will be. And so you can adjust your messaging and your marketing to those types of people. The next is there's way less competition, right? If you're trying to compete against all the web designers in the world, it's going to be really difficult. But if you only have to compete against five or maybe 50 other web designers, it's a lot easier to stand out and it's a lot easier to outdo those web designers when it comes to the quality of your work and the way that you market yourself to get in front of prospects. The other thing that's nice about having a niche is the people that come to you have way higher buyer intent because they know exactly what they're looking for. If you're a generalist, a lot of times you get people that are just inquiring to see what it takes to have a website built. But if you are in a specific niche and people come to you, they're coming to you because they need what you're offering. And so it's gonna be a much easier sale. And that means that it's going to be way easier to close these prospects and land clients. You're not going to have to convince them. You're not going to have to pressure them or use any sort of sketchy sales tactics. They're going to be ready and willing to hire you. The other thing that's nice about a niche is you are going to be seen as a specialist, meaning that you can charge way more for your services. Okay. If somebody sees you as the perfect option and the only person that has what they're looking for, they're going to be willing to pay way more to be able to work with you. And finally, one of the most common misconceptions is, okay, if I niche down, if I work within a specific industry or niche or with a specific tool, won't other people be afraid to reach out to me or am I going to lose other prospective clients? And the truth about it is no, people are still going to reach out to you and you can still consider taking on people that aren't inside your niche. And so it's not going to lose you clients. If anything else is going to gain you way more quality clients. And so don't be afraid to niche down just because you might lose clients. And the other thing that I always ask people is if you're afraid to lose potential clients, like ask yourself, am I getting a lot of clients right now as it is? And if you're not, then niching down is going to be a way better option. Don't be afraid to lose clients that you don't even get in the first place. All right. So with that said, let's talk about a couple examples, because if you are going to be a generalist, if you are just going to offer web design to whoever is willing to hire you, you're going to be competing against hundreds of thousands of other web designers. With some quick research, I found that currently 
There are around 180,000 active web designers offering web design services, and that is expected to double or even triple within the next couple of years. So that is a lot of competition, and it's going to be really difficult to get seen when there are hundreds of thousands of other options out there, most of which probably live in different countries or with bigger agencies and can do it cheaper and more efficiently. And so you don't want to compete in this arena. So let's look at an example of one way you can niche down. In this first example, we're talking about business status. So rather than just offering web design to anyone, maybe you start offering web design to just startups. And you can see that already this is going to make the pool of competing web designers much, much smaller. And it's going to start to get easier to get in front of good clients. The other thing you can do is work specifically with local businesses. Now there are millions of local businesses out there, but this is still a niche and there are much less web designers that are doing web design specifically for local businesses. And so you can incorporate this into your messaging, into your portfolio site, into your marketing and your content. And you're going to start getting in front of these local businesses a lot easier than just throwing out your web design services to whoever is listening. All right, so the next way you can niche down is by industry. And this is probably the most commonly understood and known way to niche down. So a few examples of this are you could do web design specifically for restaurants or law firms or dentist offices or pest control companies or whatever type of business it is that you want to work with. This is a fantastic way because yes, these types of businesses will still hire generalists, but if they come across your website or your social media and they say, oh wow, Peyton offers web design services specifically for acupuncture clinics, Man, that is perfect because that's what I do. And so if you can position yourself like this, it's going to be a fantastic fit. And again, you still might get other types of businesses reaching out to you and you can still work with them. But by niching down, rather than competing with hundreds of thousands of web designers, you might only be competing with a few hundred. And that's a really great spot to be in. Now, the next way to niche down is by location. And this is the best way if you're just starting out. This is exactly how I started out. I live here in the city of Idaho Falls in the state of Idaho, and I decided that rather than throwing my services out to anyone in the world, I might just start locally in my small town. And so I set up a Google business profile and I started gathering reviews and my website was all about Idaho Falls web design services. And my site actually ranked on Google pretty quickly after I started out. And before I knew it, there were local businesses reaching out to me saying, hey, we're looking for a web designer, but we love that you're here locally and we can see you and meet you face to face. And we feel like you understand this location and what it is that we need. And so niching down by location is a fantastic way to get started. And you can see in this example that in the city of Idaho Falls, I might only be competing with maybe 15 other web designers, a lot of which are freelancers just like myself. And so it's going to be way easier to compete. Now, in a place like New York or Denver, you might have more competition, but it still is going to be a far better setup for you than competing with everybody all across the globe. Now, the next way that you can niche down is actually one of my favorites, and this is niching down by a service or a combination of services. So rather than just being a web designer, you might be the web designer that also offers SEO or a web designer that is specific to e-commerce sites, or maybe you also offer sales funnels or copywriting or whatever it might be. Then when somebody reaches out to you, they're going to say, oh, you are another option that we have for a web designer but we were interested that you also offer Google ads because this is something that we also need. And so being able to package those services together, all of a sudden you become a more specific solution to what your clients are looking for. And so this is a fantastic way to get more specific and offer a combination that people are going to love. Now this next example goes hand in hand with that and that is niching down with a specific tool. This is also something I did that made a world of a difference. And the examples I have here are maybe rather than offering web design in general, you offer WordPress design or Webflow design and development, or maybe you work with Squarespace or Wix. Using these specific tools are a fantastic niche because when people reach out to you, they already know about the platform. They already know what they want. They already have examples of sites that they love. 
And when people reach out to me and they say, Peyton, I want a site built in Webflow, they already understand what they're getting into. And so I don't have to sell them or convince them on using the tool that I already use. And so niching down with a specific tool, whether that's a web design tool or a marketing tool or a CRM or whatever it is, it's gonna be a fantastic way to find the right clientele. So now I wanna talk about my niche because I truly believe that 99% of the success that I've had as a web designer and an agency owner are due to the niche that I selected. So originally I started out as a generalist and then I focused in on Idaho Falls and then I found the tool Webflow. And so I shifted my niche to Webflow and this worked out really well for several months but more Webflow designers came along and started offering Webflow services. And so it started to get a bit more competitive. So I thought, okay, like I also offer SEO. So maybe I become the Webflow and SEO guy. And this really, really helped because then rather than becoming just another option of a Webflow developer, people started to select me because they would say, oh, we need Webflow, but we also need to migrate our old site over to Webflow. And then we wanna run an SEO campaign. And so I just continued to niche down until I became the perfect option for just a select few number of clients. Now this might seem like a really specific thing to do, niching down multiple levels, but it's been fantastic because the few potential clients that reach out to me, they have massive budgets and they've already made up their mind that I'm the perfect fit to hire. And so I rarely even have to sell people. I don't have to convince people because people looking for Webflow and SEO know that that's what I do, that I'm the expert. And typically speaking, they're larger budget projects, which is awesome. So now I wanna share with you a few examples of what I would consider multi-level niching that you can steal to set yourself up in the perfect position to land great clients with higher budgets. So a few of these examples are, maybe you offer web design for chiropractors, but you also offer Google ads and you know how to send the ads to their website to get them new leads or patients. This is a great niche. Another example is offering web design for startups but in specific fintech startups. This is a great niche. And again, these are gonna be companies that typically have funding and have higher budgets. The next option is maybe you offer web design specific to home decor and you've built a network of influencers that can help market this business. That is gonna be a huge bonus that you can throw into your services that are going to make people really want to work with you. The next option is web design for kids dentists, but you also offer video. So you can go into their practice, you can shoot testimonials, you can shoot interviews, you can have you know any type of video content to put on the website. This is really going to help you stand out. And the last option is niching down in a specific city, but also offering local SEO. This is a great, easy option to work with local businesses that trust you and you can start to build a network of different clients that will refer you to other local businesses. So if you're looking for a way to find better clients with higher budgets, you need to start niching down. And typically, niching down only one level is not going to be enough. So you need to niche down two, three, sometimes even four levels deep, and you're going to find a gold rush of clients that find you and feel that you're the perfect option for what it is that they're looking for. So if you found any value in this video, please be sure to hit that like button down below, and we'll be sure to catch you in the next video.